Hey guys, how's it going? So today I want to show you how to download Netflix subtitles. So I've seen other videos on this and most of them use the Google Chrome development tools to download the file this way, but they don't work with foreign scripts because they download them as pictures. But as you can see here, for sake of example, I'm doing this with traditional Chinese and I've downloaded the subtitles for an entire TV show with timestamps like this and this is the SRT file so I'm going to show you how to get set up and how you can download any show easily how you can find Netflix TV shows or movies with subtitles and audio in your target language and then how to download the subtitle files so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a program called Kodi which is a home cinema application and we're going to be downloading an extension made by Alan from nihongobaka.com everything I'm doing here is basically because he's already made an add-in for Kodi and I'm going to be using his program and showing you guys how to get download it, how to get set up and how to find um, what you want so the first thing, this is a plugin for Kodi, so the first thing is to download Kodi um, and what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description but basically this thing gets updated all the time here you can see the last one uh, on the day of recording this, this is 9th of December and this is last been updated today um, so you just download the most up-to-date one on your, onto your computer. Okay, so when you download a code, it will come up with the start wizard. Just click next, agree, and install it. Choose where you want it downloaded and click install. Okay, so once code is downloaded, then you want to download the add-in, the Netflix add-in plugin for the code so you can download subtitle files. So if you go over to, I'm not going to leave a link because this plugin gets updated all the time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to this to Alan's post on the Hongo backer, and what you can do is you scroll down to the comment section here, and you can see on the date it's been I suppose if you scroll down not too long, normally they're pretty updated pretty regularly here. So here you can see version 13.12, and this is the most recent one, September 1st. So I'm going to be clicking on this one and downloading the plugin. So like I said I'm going to be downloading traditional Chinese characters so the first thing we need to do is um, to be able to enable Kodi to support foreign scripts like Asian characters, Arabic, um, Chinese, Japanese, stuff like that. So what we want to do is we want to go to settings and then you want to go on interface, click on fonts right here and then change it from skin default, change it to aerial based. And then you want to go back one menu and you can do that by pressing the escape button. Clicking on system in the bottom right. And then you want to go down to add-ons here. You want to click unknown sources and turn this on. And this basically enables Kodi to use the plugin that you've just downloaded. So click yes. And then you go back again by pressing escape. Click on add-ons here. Click install from zip file and then this is going to pop up and you want to just go find where you've saved the plugin and then once you find the zip file you click on this and then click OK and then from here you want to go back to so press escape and again and then you scroll down on the left here and find add-ons so now this is downloaded you right click and then you click on settings you go down to subtitles here you want to select your subtitles folder where you want the subtitles to be saved so for me I've, select, I've created a folder called Netflix subtitles so now we've done that we click OK and then left click on this to log in so then it should come up with a screen I'm just going to log in and put in my account details and then it should come up with a list of users and then you select whichever one you are and this is it so this is set up so now Cody is set up, I'm going to show you how to find Netflix subtitles for the shows you want, how to find what shows have it. So in order to find out what shows have audio and subtitles that you want to look for in your target language, then you want to go to this website, unogs.com, and I'll leave a link in the description. Um, there's 31 countries available at the moment, so if you're watching this video, it probably has your country. So click on this, and then make sure the only country selected is the one that you live in or have a VPN for. So because I'm living in the United Kingdom, I've deselected all of them apart from the United Kingdom and then you click save selection. 
then once that's done you can play around the filters here so because I'm doing traditional Chinese in this example I'm going to select audio to Mandarin subtitles to traditional Chinese you can pick the genre you can also choose between movie and TV series I'm going to select TV series and then you click search so then this comes up with a list following the criteria that you put in above and then you just find a show that you like to look for so I'm going to pick this one here so then you simply search Netflix for the show that you just found and here's the one that I picked here so I'm just going to click on it and confirm that it does indeed have Mandarin audio and Chin traditional Chinese subtitles so hovering your mouse on the subtitle file here on the audio and language bit here you can see it has Mandarin audio and traditional Chinese subtitles so then in order to easily find it from within Kodi you want to click add to your list so going back to Kodi for a second if we right click on this and go on settings navigate back to subtitle file and here you can see only download subtitles with language code so if you type in a code here then it's only going to download the subtitle file with that specific code but if you leave this blank then it will download every single subtitles available for that TV show so I'm going to show you how to find out which is the subtitle code you want so go over to Netflix here and then type in forward slash subtitles and press enter and then here you can see subtitles you select the language you want so in my case that's traditional Chinese and here you can see the tag that has gone onto the end of the URL here zh-hant so that is the subtitle code and I'm going to copy it in here now for some reason with traditional Chinese I'm not quite sure why but when at the moment at least with this version when I post the full subtitle code in it doesn't work so I'm just going to copy in the first two letters which indicates it's Chinese so instead what this is going to do is it's going to download both traditional and simplified Chinese subtitles and then once it's downloaded I'm just going to have to manually delete the one that I don't want so now you click OK and then OK again now go back to Netflix subs left click select your user now we've added your TV show that you want to watch to your list so click on my list then navigate your list to find the TV show you want to watch left click click on the season you want to watch this is season one and then left click on the episode you want subtitles for so now that's it so I'll just quickly check the folder to make sure the subtitles have downloaded so as you can see here it's got both the subtitles downloaded this is traditional Chinese and this one's simplified Chinese so you can open this by left clicking and when it asks you which program to pick I normally choose notepad so now when I left click on this, because I've already selected it, it doesn't give me the option to choose, but it would for you. So as you can see here, this has all of the subtitles for the entire TV episode, right the way down to the last minute with timestamps under each one. So because I only want the traditional one, then I'm going to quickly delete the simplified, and that's it. So then, now I can go down and simply click on all the episodes that I want and it will download the subtitles one by one as I click on the episodes and it's as quick as that if in the subtitle code bit here if you leave it blank and then click OK then all that means is when you go to download subtitles of Netflix from the show that you want it will download all the possible subtitles available for that specific TV show so if you're not sure what the language code is for specific subtitles or even you're not sure what subtitles are available for a certain TV show you can leave the field blank and click the download button and that way when you go to your folder you can see everything that's available and the codes that go with it so as you can see I just downloaded episode 20 and if you hover your mouse above here you can see the codes EN for English ES for Spanish PT-BR which I'm guessing means Brazilian Portuguese simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese so if you're having trouble getting the subtitles filter to work, the other option you can do is just leave it blank and just delete the ones that you don't want after. One thing that I will mention quickly before I end this video is that both Kodi and the Netflix plugin get updated all the time. So if you look on nihongonobaka.com towards the bottom of the comment section, 
the plugin is always always getting updated and usually you need the latest one in order to get this to work so if you have any specific questions with Kodi or the Netflix plugin not working the best thing to do is go to nahongonobaka.com in the link that I'll leave in the description go down to the comment sections and ask there usually when I set this up it has a few problems trying to get this running this is the second time in both times I've set this up on my computer it's taken quite a bit of debugging and making sure you have the latest format to get it to work but if you ask on the comments they're usually pretty happy to help people out and that's it so if you have any recommendations for me on Netflix for learning Spanish then I'd love to hear what you have to say and if you have any questions other than this then please leave me a comment if that's all for now then thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video peace